One of my all-time favorites is actually a sea urchin. Uh, I, I love sea urchin. I love the flavor of it, the texture of it. I love the fact that uh, people just know it from sushi bars and uh, are not so familiar with it in different other preparations. And I love to come up with packaging uh, for the first timers who have never eaten it uh, before and, uh, and come up with ideas to, to create a really nice dish that still has a flavor of the sea urchin there, but yet is uh, uh, less intimidating than just eating something like raw and funny looking like the sea urchin go nut, uh, which it actually is. Uh, and this year's preparation is uh, with the, um, we make a little, we have a sea urchin trifle. And trifle is typically uh, like a dessert, which is based on custard and pastry and some jam and some fruit and some uh, whipped, uh, sweetened whipped cream. And um, I want to come up with something similar. So what we have is an avocado custard uh, as a pastry component. We have some uh, brick dough that is coming from Morocco that uh, is used uh, to make pastillas. And uh, we cut little strips and toss it in olive oil and nori seaweed and bake it. So the other ingredients are, of course, we have um, Peruvian gooseberries, Cape gooseberries, but they originate in Peru. So that's our little fruity component. They're nice and tart, get fruity, and it makes a really nice balance to the other flavors in the dish. I'll just sprinkle them around. So now, the jam that you have typically in a trifle, we made a little gel based on uh, yuzu, sake, shiso, shiso leaves, and a little sugar in it. And so, sprinkle that right on top of the, uh, of the pastry, just a little bit, it's very potent. And now we have our sea urchin foam. Basically, it's a sea urchin mousse that we create, liquefied, and add it in a canister. Top secret recipe, cannot share, sorry. And so basically, hopefully it's still full. And that means we sold too many of them, but the canister is empty. And now we have a little jelly made from ponsu that brings nice brightness and saltiness to the whole dish. And now the star of the piece. Exactly. We have sea urchin already in a foam. This is really just to bring out, get a little raw sea urchin in a dish. So basically we have like an avocado custard on the bottom. We have the Peruvian gooseberries around. We have a little nest, crispy nest made of brick dough and nori seaweed. We have a little yuzu, sake, and uh, what else is in there? And shiso, um, jam. And then we have our sea urchin foam, some uh, yuzu and some actually ponsu, some ponsu jelly and just a little raw sea urchin on top and this is good so if you have never experienced sea urchin before but love pastry and sweets you should go for that